this is week four with our leopard frog tadpoles and we are watching the life cycle of these leopard frog tadpoles that we received in the mail from naturegifts.com and it is our day to clean the tanks but I haven't done so yet so I just thought I'd show them to you real quick give you a quick update they're all alive and doing well they're getting a little bigger but not much um, the main thing that's changed is their body are kind of changing shape and I'm going to try to get these to move. The ones that are in this lit tank have a filter, like a fish tank, in here. And for some reason, uh, Nature's Gifts actually says that it's as good or better to not use a tank with a filter. But they love to stay over there right up next to that filter. And I really don't know how that affects them negatively or positively, but they both like to get between the filter and the tank and stay there. And they're doing a lot of different things these days. I'm not sure what it means exactly, but they like to turn sideways like this and show their belly to the side of the tank. They are more likely these days to, to hang out up there on top of the plants or to kind of float in the water or to rest on those plants than they are to be anywhere else. Um, the ones in this tank don't swim around very much they mostly just get between the filter and the side of the tank over there and hang out or hang out right there on top of the plant. Um, of course, the one thing that is nice about this tank for us is that we can turn on the light and see them quite a bit better. Uh, there is quite a bit of food from the tadpole food that we feed them that's down there in the bottom, but the pamphlet from Nature's Gift says that that's what they prefer to eat and they prefer to eat off the plants at this point of their development so I leave that in there until it's time to change the water and then some of it still goes back in there over here these are a little harder to see because they're not lit but I'll try to get a good view of them and it'll be interesting to see if their development is any different in each tank because these like to hang out in the dark behind where I have this little um, description of their life cycle and this one specifically that you can see there in the front he really his body is really starting to change shape and look more like a frog let's see if it, you're not supposed to disturb them too much but if I move these plants around they'll they'll swim a little bit more and um, the information that comes with them does say and you can see that one is quite a bit fatter than the other this one down here is starting to look like it has leg nubs more than the other one. And let's see if I can get a better view of him. Um, his body is definitely changing more into the shape of a frog, but he still has a very long tail. And they won't be frogs until they completely absorb their tail. So there's the one. And then here is the other one, let me see if I can get up just a little bit closer to him. So not a lot to report. You can see him, this one back over here in this tank really up close and well. I don't see anything on these that looks anything like leg nubs. These ones over here in the other tank that aren't lit do seem to have some little nubs at the front that I believe to be leg nubs, but I've never seen that process, so I can't be sure. Mostly they both are preferring to float in the middle of the water now instead of just staying at the bottom. And we will keep you updated if there's anything more exciting going on with our tadpoles. And as they continue to grow, and later this evening I will clean the tank, and there's our leopard frog tadpoles that are still, of course they've hatched out of their egg before they came to us. They were pretty small when we first got them and they're just growing in the tadpole stage. Maybe some nubs but no legs yet, but will eventually have four legs and then absorb their tail and become a leopard frog. So thanks for sticking with us and watching our tadpoles.